Hello, I'm Jeffrey McCray. I currently live in Long Beach, California, and I have been HIV positive since 1995. Hello, my name is Patty Radigan. I have been living with HIV since 1992, January, um, almost 30 years. I'm 64 years old and I live in San Francisco. Hi, my name is Hugh McGuire and I'm speaking to you today from Eagle Rock, California. I'm 60 years old and have been a survivor of HIV for 34 years. Hi, my name is Paul Aguilar. I've been living with HIV since October 1988 and I live in San Francisco. Hi, my name is Ruben Cueva. I was diagnosed in 2010. I am currently living in Fresno, California. I am 60 years old. My name is Cesar Cadavis, and I've been living with HIV since September of 1989. And currently I live in San Francisco. Uh, what does HIV and Aging Awareness Day mean to me? Well, for me personally, I remember the late 80s and early 90s when we were finding out about our status and how things were not hopeful at all. We were young men who were at the beginning of our lives and we were faced with contemplating our deaths. And now some of us are still here and we can't forget those days and what it took for us to make it this far and continue to advocate and educate about what our needs continue to be as we age with HIV. The fact that we even can create a day called HIV and Aging Awareness Day is huge. It means that this HIV is no longer a death sentence, that the meds are actually working and sustaining our lives into old age, um, which I'm extremely grateful for. What brings me hope? That's easy. That's the young people I work with on the Advocacy Network. These are some fierce, dedicated warriors who are fighting for racial equity and health equity, gender equity. Heck, 40 years ago, all we could fight for was our lives. And my viral load has been undetectable. Um, you know, I don't, I didn't do the math for at least 20 years. So um, it was that collaborative effort with Dr. Akil that I attribute to huge hope and what uh, what got me here today. I'm looking forward to growing old. I just recently purchased my first home and um, there's a lot to do to make it me, my personality, um, planting trees, planting my gardens, watching things grow as well as myself grow old. What I'm looking forward to is my daughter, Angelica, getting married. She will be married next year um, and hopefully having grandbabies. But um, at her wedding, I will be walking her down the aisle.